what's good it's your boy jc and if you're gonna stay on youtube right now on a consistent basis you need to be watching consistent basis and you getting that from one of the most consistent people in the game baby consistent basis coming at you on youtube hello ladies and gentlemen i'm justin harris and welcome to another episode of consistent basis before i begin this video I want you guys to hit the like button, subscribe button, and please share this video, comment, um, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you feel. All right, Smack Volume One is going down this weekend on the uh, 9th, Saturday on the ninth. And I just want to give my little opinion about it. And uh, this this review might uh this prediction might piss a lot of people off, but you know I've never cared before. So here we go. Alright, we're gonna start with Chef Trez versus Chess now. I love this battle. I wanted to see this battle go down on bullpen before um, Trez and Judge and had a little falling out or whatever, but I would love to see Tre I want I, I want to see Chess in person, you know, live in action, but I don't think I ever get the chance to see that. But um oh uh, I really don't know who I got winning this battle, man. Um, Chef Trez did his thing against Prep. I got him beating Prep. Um, Chess last show was against uh, JC, and we seen what happened with that. Mm. I really, I guess it really depends on how Chess comes, man. Pause. Uh, but as of right now, I have Chef Trez win this battle 2 1. Um, really depends on what Chess is drinking. If he comes on stage with water, he's gonna lose. But if he has a little vitamin water or whatever, then he has a possibility of winning. But right as of right now, I got Chef Trez winning 2 1. Shotgun Shug against Mike P. Man, I like Mike P, man, but. I, I don't know, man. Mike P. Mike P talks a lot of shit. For someone who, who has no clear wins, okay, maybe he beat Twerk. Okay. And maybe he beat the dude and that punched him or whatever. But okay. But on URL, I don't think he has any clear wins, to be completely honest with you. And Shug's last show, he gotta he gotta he gotta show up for this one, man. Letting Ill Will beat him like that. He didn't even pocket check Ill Will. So he and let Mike P has a great chance of winning, but should you have to pocket check Mike P? You have to. But as far as bar wise, I got Mike P winning, man. But you can't count Shug out. But if he comes generic, the generic Shug, then, then, but, then, as of right now, I got Mike P winning, man. I got Mike P winning two one, possibly three zero, probably. I'm, yeah, I got Mike P. I got Mike P winning this one, man. Um, next. Briz Ross thinking against O Red. Mmm. I'm not completely sold on O Red yet. I'm sorry. I'm probably the only one that, that is not sold on O Red. Um, he beat Shine. Yeah. Um, he beat Av. Yeah. Um, I don't think he beat Big K though. I don't I I really don't think he he did his thing as Big K even though he's in a dress. But Briz is a beast, man. Like and he has to make up for his last showing also, cause he do. That was not a good Briz the last his last go around. I don't have a winner for this one, man. I really I really don't. Um I think this one has potential to be battle of the night though. I'm not even gonna lie, man. Briz, performance-wise, he is, and um, but I'm not sold on all red. But this has potential to be battle of the night. So, um, right now, as right now, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it to Briz. I'm not sold on red. I'm gonna give it to Briz two one. Uh, but it could go either way, really. K Shine against Danny Myers. I yo, this this also has potential to be battle of the night. Yeah, you know, Shine. Um, congratulations, has baby girl on a. Uh, on uh, the day before traffic or the week before traffic or whatever, so he was able to uh, to battle against Danny and Danny battled um, Gleezy, Gleezy, and um, so and that was even though it was a week a week of uh, preparation. Danny did pretty good, man. I got him beating Gleezy, but um, this is gonna be a loud ass battle. 
This is gonna battle is gonna be so fucking loud. Danny's gonna bark on this nigga. Danny is going to bark on this nigga. And it's great because there's no crowd. So it's gonna hit all bars, no hating. Um, I think it's in New York. I wanna say it's in New York. Uh, I'm not completely sure, but most likely it's in New York. So New York niggas hate Danny. I'm not gonna lie. They, 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 they shit on Danny. They shit on Danny, shit on Verb. Uh, but with no crowds, man, he. And if, if K Shine comes with that same generic flow like he did against O Red, he's gonna lose. I got Danny. As of right now, I got Danny winning this one, man. New Jersey Twerk against JC. JC 3 0. Now, I like New Jersey Twerk. Um, he's arguably undefeated on URL. I mean, you can say he lost to Mike P. You can, you can say that. Uh, but you can say he beat Cortez, but I get, got that going either way. But, um,. He reaches a lot, man. And JC is the type of nigga, man, like you. He can point that shit out so fast, man. And I think his angle against Twerk is going to be so legendary that uh, mm, it's, Twerk got to show up, man. He got to come differently, dude. Like, all that jumping around, our performance wise, it's not even going to matter now. There's no crowds, no reaction, no gas, none of that shit. So as of right now, I got JC 3-0, man. Nobody. JC 3-0. Rum Nitty against Iron Solomon. No, this is the matchup where everyone was like, what the fuck? Um, but uh, niggas count Iron Solomon out now, but uh Iron Solomon is a fucking legend, dude. And Rum Nitty has, I really think, after his last show with DNA. I think Rum Nitty is the best puncher as of right now. I think he, I got I got him beating Av too. I think Rum Nitty is the best puncher right now. And I really think he's going to punch and punch and punch Iron Solomon to death. But I think Iron Solomon is going to win. I got Iron Solomon winning this battle 2-1. But um, Nitty proved me wrong, man. But as of right now, I got Iron Solomon winning this one. Um, as you know, last time Iron Solomon was on Smack, he got Smack. So uh, he's got to redeem himself. Uh, I don't think... This card necessarily should be the card he redeems himself, but um, I got Iron Solomon, man, winning 2 1. Here's the battle everyone's talking about Al versus B Magic. I'm not gonna be long in this battle, man. Uh, Al is gonna win. I can, I can give you the break, the full breakdown on this, um, on this battle. Okay, so. Av is going to win the coin toss. He's going to tell you Magic to go first. Magic is going to have a better first round than Av. See, I'm being real specific right now. B Magic is going to have a better first round than Av. Second round, B Magic is going to choke. He's going to choke. He's going to choke second round, man. And Av is going to literally punch this nigga's head completely off. His, you might see the nigga head roll off the motherfucking camera and, and like for real cause uh B Magic's not fucking with Av. Maybe B Magic in his prime, but this B Magic is not fucking with Av. You guys paid the thirty five dollars, which probably which most of you didn't. Uh and seeing traffic three what what um Av did with, with um Geechee Gotti This is not the same Av that battled top. Okay? With that battle against Geechee Gotti Dude, Av, Av and Nitty are right there, man. Like, he's right there with Nitty, as, as punch wise. But um, I think he, I don't think, I don't think B Magic is fucking with Av at all. Um, I'm glad him and Beasley resolved their differences or whatever. But I, if he shows up, that's the thing, man. Magic can show up and still lose. This could be the best Magic that we've ever seen, and he can still lose. Sorry to say, man. You niggas, man, you fans are real stupid. Some of you fans are real stupid, man. This is y'all deal, man. Y'all have so much faith in magic, man. Like, niggas be like, when he battled Bricks Belby, right? I had niggas tell me magic didn't lose, Ma Bricks didn't win, magic just lost. Wh what? That doesn't even make fucking sense, man. Like, if magic shows up, he's gonna win. Magic showed up against Iron Solomon and lost. Okay? He showed up against Bourne. Okay, he did his thing against Bourne. Okay, yeah. But he just got his ass kicked down here in Atlanta. Well, in Atlanta against Clone. 
Like an AF 3 0, man. Possibly by the other night, man. This guy. 3 0. I know I said Magic might win the first round, but I'm changing that shit. 3 0, man. Magic doesn't have a chance. I'm, I, I'm not sold on Magic anymore. It's over with. I, I don't care. It's over with. Done with for Magic. Okay. After he loses this one, he's just retired for real, man. Um, but yeah, that's that's it, man. Um, if you haven't already been to our uh, Instagram page, go ahead and go to our Instagram page, follow us on Snapchat, or whatever. My name is Justin Hay. Oh, also, we have new videos coming up real soon. We've been recording, recording. I've been out of town in New Orleans. I got some great footage for out from New Orleans and um, uh, Maryland. So, um, if you guys would uh, just hang with us, check us out, and um, like, subscribe, comment, share, do all that. Support black businesses also, okay? All right, my name is Justin Harris. This has been Consistent Basis. I'm out. We love battle rap.